Hi everyone and welcome back to another sewing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to make this two-piece loungewear set. I made mine out of muslin fabric. I knew I wanted to wear it during the summer, but you can use any other non-stretchy fabric. And I made it thinking I would only wear it around the house, but to be honest, this top would look really nice with a pair of high-waisted jeans. So if you only want to make the top, you can. And also if you never made pants don't worry this is the second time for me as well and I'm going to show you how you can copy the pattern of a pair of pants you already own so for this tutorial you'll need about 140 by 150 meters of muslin fabric I recommend you pre-wash your muslin fabric since it can shrink up to 20% and before washing it, I recommend sewing a really wide zigzag stitch around the edge of the fabric since muslin fabric frays really easily and it also can get tangled in the wash. Then you'll need your measuring tape, some pins, some fabric scissors or your rotary cutter, a pencil or some tailor's chalk, a ruler and a pair of pants with elastic waist that fits you nicely. And we are going to copy the pattern of these pants Mine are long, but I'm just going to shorten them later. And I also recommend having a t-shirt ready. I'm only going to use it as a reference for the color shape of this t-shirt. It's not too tight or too wide around my neck, so I decided to use this one. And now that you have everything ready, you can go ahead and cut out the pieces for the top. The top is only made out of rectangles, so it's really easy to cut out and sew. So you'll basically need two rectangles that have the width of your desired length for your top. Keep in mind you can make it a crop top or a normal length one. For me this was about 50 centimeters. And then the length of your rectangle will be your bust circumference divided by two. And you'll need to add about 10 centimeters just to make it more oversized. You can add more if you like. I only added 10 centimeters and this measurement was 60 centimeters in my case. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out those two pieces. And then you can move on to the sleeves. For the sleeves you'll also need to cut out two rectangles that are 20 by 60 centimeters long. And we are going to fold these in half to create the sleeves. So here are my four rectangles for the top, the two small ones for the sleeves and the two bigger ones for the top part. Now take one big rectangle and fold it in half like this. Just make sure you place it correctly. The bust circumference should be horizontally. This will be the front part of your top, so you can either freehand your collar like I did here or you can take your t-shirt, fold it in half like this, make sure the front part is on the outside and then just copy the color shape of your t-shirt. Then you can cut it out and then you'll need to repeat for the back piece of your top. This time you'll need to fold your t-shirt the other way around and copy the back collar of your t-shirt. Next you'll need a piece of leftover fabric to create the neckline facing. I know this might sound intimidating if you are a beginner, but trust me it's really easy and it's even easier to make a facing than to try and hem the neckline. So a facing is basically a narrow strip of fabric that is cut out to the same shape as the curve of your neckline. Place the front part of your top over that piece of fabric and copy its shape with a pencil or some chalk. Now take your measuring tape and measure about 8 centimeters away from the first line you drew. And this is the shape you'll end up with. Now we are going to cut this out to make sure we cut it out symmetrically. You can fold it in half like this. Just make sure the lines are aligned. And this is the facing for the front part of your top. And now we are going to do the same thing for the back. And then sew the two pieces together and attach them to the neckline. Place your two facing pieces together and sew them at the shoulder seam. You can finish the edge of the fabric using a zigzag stitch just to make sure it doesn't fray. 
then pin the front and the back part of your top at the shoulder seam and sew them together using a straight stitch. And now it's time to attach the facing to the neckline. Lay your top pieces that you just sewn together flat on your table with the right side facing up and then place your facing piece on top right sides facing each other so the seams on the top and on the neckline are meeting each other with the right side if that makes sense pin everything in place and sew around the neck hole to reduce bulk you can trim down the seam allowance then clip into both layers of the fabric all around the curve of the neckline so that the facing will lay flat once turned the right side out to make sure the facing stays on the inside of our top, you can understitch the facing, fold the seam allowance towards the facing and then stitch on top of your fabric about half a centimeter away from the seam. Now fold your facing inwards and you can press it using an iron. Now we can move on and attach the sleeves. Place your top right side facing up on a flat surface and then take your sleeve pieces, fold them in half to determine the middle and place them like this on each side of your top, making sure that the middle of your sleeve meets the shoulder seam. Pin your sleeve in place and repeat for the other side. Then you can sew along both sides using a straight stitch. Now fold your top like this with the seams facing outwards and sew the inside seam of your sleeve continuing down the side of your top. Clip the fabric around the armhole to make sure it lays flat once turned right side out. And then you can go ahead and hem the sleeves and the bottom of your top and your top is done. Now we can move on and make the shorts. For this you'll need your pair of pants, turn them wrong side out and pinch them like this to fold them in half. Make sure the seams overlap and press the fabric as best as you can. I decided to copy the pattern of my pants onto some pattern paper first, but you can go ahead and draw the pattern directly onto your fabric if you want. For this you'll just need to place the pants folded in half like this onto your paper or fabric and copy the shape. Since these are full length pants and I want to make some shorts, I'm not going to copy the entire length of the pant. I'm going to make a mark where I think the shorts are a nice fit and I'm just going to draw a straight line across. Make sure you label the pattern pieces so you don't get them mixed up. This is the back of the pants for me and I added no seam allowance to the pattern paper. I will add it onto my fabric afterwards. And repeat the process for the front of your pants. This time you'll need to fold the pants the other way around. And again just make sure the seams are overlapping and everything is nice and neat when you copy the pattern since the crotch is different for the front and for the back side of the pants. And now that you have your two pattern pieces, you can go ahead and cut out two of each one out of your fabric. Make sure you add some seam allowance if necessary. Then place the two front pieces together and the two back pieces together and sew along this crotch line using a straight stitch. And now your pant pieces should look something like this. Now you can open them and place them right sides facing each other, like this. Pin the crotch and the sides together and then you can go ahead and sew those as well. And now it's time to add the elastic. Place the elastic band around your waist, making sure it fits nicely and cut it to the desired length. 
and fold the waistline of your shorts like this downwards twice. The first fold can be a small one and then the second fold should be the width of your elastic. So make sure the elastic will fit into the tunnel you will create. Pin the fabric all around and then you can sew it using a straight stitch, making sure you leave a small gap to insert the elastic. Use a safety pin to insert the elastic all the way through. Then you can sew the two ends of the elastic together using a zigzag stitch. Make sure your elastic isn't twisted. Place it on the inside and then you can close the gap you created for the waistline. And before hemming the bottom of your shorts, I recommend you try them on once again. I ended up cutting a bit more from the bottom of these pants. And then you can hem them by folding the fabric inwards twice and sewing using a straight stitch. And this is the finished loungewear set. I already wore it a couple of times, I just love this fabric and the fit is really comfortable. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, if you do recreate this set just Tag me on Instagram or send me a message, I really love seeing your creations and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, bye!